Hi, my name is Phil Jamison. I live here in Asheville, North Carolina, in the western part of the state, in the Appalachian Mountains. The music that I play is called old time music, and it's primarily dance music played on fiddle and banjo. Many people often mistake this music as being some kind of Anglo-Saxon or Celtic heritage, but in fact, it is an American music that has African influence in it as well. Um, the, the two instruments, the fiddle does have roots in Northern Europe and came with the Scots-Irish settlers to the mountains, but the banjo has African roots and it was here in this country that the two merged together to create this new kind of American folk music. Um, something that a lot of people don't realize is that back in the 17 and 1800s, there were black fiddlers throughout the country. And these are people who routinely provided the dance music of America. So there's a lot of black influence in this music as well, in the fiddle music as well as the banjo music. The dancing that I do is called flat foot dancing. And it, like the music, has roots in both Northern Europe and Africa. And it is a combination of the two and this kind of music and dance is truly an American melting pot tradition. This tune is called Cotton Eye Joe, and I play a North Carolina version. Many people know the Texas dance hall version. This one's a little bit different. And this is another tune that is thought to have come from the African American tradition. <laughs> My name is Rosie Weiss. I am originally from Billings, Montana, and I'm currently a student at the Frost School of Music doing my uh, master's degree. I'm almost finished. I'll be graduating in the spring. Um, so my background, I started uh, when I was three years old. I was studying Suzuki, so I grew up right, right away starting with classical. Um, but on the side, I also started uh, Celtic music. I would, had a group when I was about four that I joined. Um, so I was kind of learning classical and the Celtic stuff at the same time as I was growing up. 
Uh, later on, I entered the Montana State Fiddle Champion um, contest, and uh, I won two times. And that was like uh, Texas style, so a completely different style of music. Um, and then eventually, you know, I did the fiddle stuff on the side still, but classical ended up taking over as I started playing with symphonies. I was, I did, uh, all my lessons were classical. Um, so fiddle was really on the side and it kind of got left behind, unfortunately. Um, so I'm really grateful that now I'm getting the chance to kind of go back to my roots and working with Nicole Yarling has just been amazing. Um, and uh, so I just want to talk to you a little bit about the different styles of, of dances when it comes to Celtic music. So Celtic music just means both Scottish and Irish kind of combined. Um, so there's, it's a lot of different dances. Um, so the, the, the reels that I'll be playing, um, well they're reels, so they're in 4-4 four, four time. Um, and they're, they're always fast and peppy and fun. Um, so it's, it's fun to dance to. There's, uh, there's jigs, which will, are 6, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's slip jigs, which are basically the same thing except in 3, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there's all these dances, the slower ones, like the straw spays. Um, but it really, the, people ask what's the difference, it really comes down to the, the feeling, the tempo, the timing, and, and the dance. Um, so this project um, has been so amazing just to work on with, with Nicole Yarling. Um, for me, being exposed to all of these incredible black fiddlers that I didn't even know existed, I, I'm kind of shameful. But you know, when I think about uh, you know jazz fiddler, I think of you know Stefan Grappelli or, or nowadays like Jason Anik. Um, but so I had no idea, like Eddie South, Steph Smith, they're just incredible musicians. Um, and so I had a really fun time uh, transcribing and getting into the nitty gritty of their style and trying to imitate them as best as I can. I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything else cool. to say? actually one of the co-directors of the dance program at Diller High School. Hi, my name is Evie. I'm 14 and I'm a world qualifier at the Kelly Academy of Irish Dance. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Noah Macover. I'm a first year master's student here at the University of Miami in the Studio Jazz Writing Program, and also I'm Nicole Yarling's TA, helping out here with the Alternative Strings Ensemble. Um, I think there's a, a real importance to doing this kind of transcription work and uh, kind of learning about the history and documenting all these various uh, violin players because I think it's a different way to showcase the instrument and, and learn about uh, uh, different styles and uh, inflections and, and ways to play the instrument that aren't, you know, straight out of the classical repertoire. That Hi, my name is Regina Carter and I'm a violinist. Um, I'm here at University of Miami, Frost Music School. Uh, when I walked in today to University of, of Miami to the big band, the first thing I, you know, I looked around and I was like, there's no young women in the band. And I'm, I think I'm always looking for that, um, just to see how many, we're st women are still a minority in this music and in, in, in jazz. Um, and I think it's difficult for young women in the music because they don't have enough role models, although there are several of us out here playing, but we're so spread out that they don't feel like they have, maybe they have that, that support. Um, and there are some of us that are just trying to come together and say, we may not be in your city, but you can reach out to us if you need to talk about anything, how to handle issues. But some of the things I think that young women come up against or deal with, we talk about it in groups with just young women, but we need to also include young men in those conversations so they understand what's, how maybe some of the things that they do or say make other people uncomfortable. And not that we have to bend over backwards for anyone, but there's just, when you come together to play music, you, everyone there should just be respectful of each other being musicians and and that and be a support group.
I was excited to get a clip uh, the other day from my dear friend, violinist Nicole Yarling, professor here, of so students that had transcribed um, an arrangement. I, I uh, recorded of a tune by a couple, Amadou and Miriam, called Artistia. And when I saw the clip, I said, who wrote this out? <laughs> and she said, the student, did, this young student, and they learned it. And it was so amazing that I had to send it to the rest of my band so they could check out check out the tune. And, and it was it's just fun when you hear something that you've recorded, you hear someone else take that and record it, especially youngsters. Um, uh, but it was just really beautiful and it just made, made my heart smile to see that. Hey everybody, my name is Kostya Lakinyuk. I'm from Ukraine. I'm doing my first year Masters of Music program here at Frost. Um, it's my distinct pleasure to present to you guys uh, my transcription of a spiritual called Hold On and uh, a solo that was played by an amazing violinist, John Blake Jr. Uh, I picked this song not just because of uh, the history of the spiritual but also because the, of the amazing music and amazing musical choices that John Blake Jr. did in this song. Uh, it's a, a solo that I've been humming along since I uh, started listening to it and uh, it was my pleasure to dive deeper and uh, get into all of the little minuscule details that make it the way it is. I wanted to uh, thank and express my gratitude to John Blake Jr. for his amazing contribution into the world of alternative violin playing. I hope you guys enjoy the tune.
Just let it breathe. It'll be okay. Just gotta breathe. But it's not okay. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. This can't be. I can't. Just let it breathe. It'll be okay. Just gotta breathe. But it's not okay. This can't be. I can't breathe. breathe. I can't be. I can't. Living problematic. Getting lost in radio static. The haves are have nots and balance ratio average. Whether mask off or mask on like a mascot. It's empty bellies as famished and eating your cake and your cabbage. Environment psychotic. Ain't no picking colleges, only picking some pockets, cause there's only lint in yours. You hitting licks like a popsicle. Prosper's fickle unless it's dribbling objects. Likely basketball, it's like a racket, y'all. Neanderthal, this is extinction level after all. Stacked until my cash is tall, and it rules everything around me. In the fields where you found me, tell the master call. On the block like some Legos, you was a master builder. The old guys have joined the clan, but grew into a master killer. Tell the master ace, feel the bee sting. Cash is clay, soul float like the butterfly that grew from a caterpillar. It's a matter of black, it's not a matter of lack. It's a matter of excellence when the odds are stacked in opposition to the vision. Keep your mission intact. When you're on God's side, realize you'll never even be matched. The evil forces try to stand over, take a sober stand, soldier. My defeat's not something I just hand over. Wisdom from my ancestors, given to my kids and at the same Copa. Standing on broad shoulders in hopes that we can advance over. Obstacles, seemingly relentless. Broken systems, beat on methodical resistance. The incentives to break down systems, bringing the sun. Put that on the hip hop genre, the, the new, new Americana. Americana.